It's Friday, end of another week. Excited that you're going to have a weekend to enjoy, but before we get into that weekend, let's kind of talk about what we've talked about all week and put into practical use or some practical formation what we've learned about it, about how the Bible plays a role in our recovery. And um, so today's daily dose of hoax surrounds the three C's. The three C's. I like three C's. You like you like that kind of I thing. I do. I do. It's the preacher in you. Yeah, it is. It is. And it's the it's the uh, I want a predictable, memorable path to follow. Okay. Yeah. So we just gave you enough time to grab a pencil and a piece of paper. Write these three C's down. Here's how the Bible plays a role in your recovery. First, conversation through the Word. So, you know, the bottom line is. We need to hear God's voice. God wants to talk to us. God wants us to do more than read the Bible. God wants to have a relational conversation with us. And so the first thing we've got to do is to recognize that and to engage and listen and give God opportunity to speak because he does want to have a conversation and that conversation will have a huge impact on our recovery. And he doesn't even mind if we stomp our feet and yell and cry a little bit. No, no. He can handle it. Just have a conversation. Yeah, love it. Two, commitment to the Word. Yeah, you know, commitment to the Word, it harkens back to, to, to the Timothy scripture that we read. And, and, and that is this, you know, God doesn't just talk to us to talk to us. God talks to us to transform us. And God talks to us to move us and direct us. And, and God's word, the Bible says, is, is very practical. It's very powerful, but it's only practical and powerful if we let it do its thing in us. And so I've got to not just hear the word, but I've got to act on the word. And that's where this, uh, this uh, commitment to the word comes from. Yeah, it's where a lot of us get hung up. We really do have to be, we have to be doers of the word. The Bible says it in James. Yeah. And then finally, Troy, um, we need to have confidence in the word. Yeah, and, and I, I love this one because it, it harkens to that Psalm uh, 119 scripture that we read yesterday. Uh, you know what? God's going to show us what to do. And there's never been a time where I've asked for direction that I haven't at some point gotten direction. Now, it hasn't always been the direction that I wanted. Yeah, yeah. But it's been his direction. It's been the right direction. And so the confidence to know that God will be that light unto my path and that lamp unto my feet where he will show me the way to go. If I'll just look and listen, he will show me the way to go. I can have confidence. You know, the, 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 the way that Jesus even said in that first scripture that we talked about uh, on Tuesday, when he was tempted, he said, I'm going to put my confidence in God's words, mm -hmm. not in this temptation that Satan's trying for me. And I can be confident that God wants to speak to me and he'll give me that. That's powerful stuff. I really appreciate it. And I want to take a moment, if you don't mind, uh, to say this to you. 20 years Hope Quest has now been in existence. Mm -hmm. 20 years walking free the materials that you've written mm -hmm. and journey that your yeah. life has written have been in existence. Yeah, February 2021 is our 20 year walking free anniversary. Yeah. Well, I just want to thank you on behalf of these guys for your commitment to recovery, to your love for them, to your commitment to the Word of God. You're a special person in my life, and I know he's special to you. So, yay, Troy. Yay, Melissa. We love you both. Thanks. Yay, Jesus. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. We will see you next week. Bye.